Come on, man. What do I tell you about Ori from there? Well, it didn't work well last time. I don't care if you got one good print. You're wasting time. You're wasting money. We need to choose a good film that we know works because film matters. All right, all right, may I have the attention of the class, please? I want to welcome you all to the very first installment of DTF Film 101. I'll be your professor, Estevan, with All American Print Supply. And just so you guys know, as a company, we have tested over 30 different DTF film materials globally to bring our customers the very best. Now, to give you guys the same knowledge, we've divided these different criteria into this fun and informative series. Now, each criteria can affect our final results in different ways. That's why we're here to learn together. Let's get started. Now you guys know what static is, right? Now, static electricity by definition is gonna be the imbalance of an electrical charge within or on the surface of material or between materials. The charge will remain until able to move through either electrical current or electrical discharge, like a static shock. Now, static electricity can occur when two materials are rubbed together through friction or possible heat exchange. How do we prevent this and what does it have to do to direct to film printing? If you've noticed, maybe excess powder forming around your printed image, this could be related to temperature or humidity, but I'd say more often than not, it's gonna be film related as far as the anti-static layer on our material. Now, humidity is good for your printer, but bad for our film and powder. And excess humidity or friction or static can create a paper jam, and that's gonna apply with pretty much any printer. Now, you could have all of your boxes checked. You could have a proper anti-static layer, your humidity's balanced, temperature, everything's on point. It's always gonna be depending on our each individual environment, as these different factors can vary from location, region, or workspace. All these different variables are gonna be at play, so we do advise testing. Again, key factors here as far as static is gonna be the anti-static layer, humidity, and the temperature or location of your workplace. So DTF film has coating layers. Now, how good of an anti-static layer can definitely play a big role in what your direct-to-film printing experience is going to be. Now, this layer is gonna be what's responsible for helping prevent the retention of this powder around our printed image, which can also transfer onto our design with the garment. All right, class, I'd like to perform a brief analysis on some of the prints with the transfers and films that we work with today. Now, up first, I wanna show an example of a bad anti-static layer. Now, this material was sourced from an imported competitor. Now, it's not too, too bad around the image, but if we look towards the bottom, where the cube is connected kind of to the text, I see a mass accumulation of the hot melting powder. That's gonna transfer with my image. Amateur hour, this is not what our customers want. Way too much powder. Now, let's take a look over here. Now this transfer from Ecofreen, this is what I'm talking about. This is the new hot peel. There's no visible amount of powder anywhere on this transfer. If I hadn't powdered this myself, I didn't know what DTF cured sheet looks like, I wouldn't know this had ever seen hot melting powder. Now, the companies that we work with, which is gonna be Ecofreen, STS, DTF Station, and Kodak, these materials are thoroughly tested for all the different criteria that we look at that we'll be exploring in this series before they ever see the website. Now, if you're still encountering static issues, as we did mention, humidity and temperature can also be factors at play here. Products like our anti-static mat are gonna be a big help. These will create that static discharge to remove any current that may be flowing in your materials that, again, can be created by things like friction or transfer of temperature. All right, this is gonna about do it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed the very first installment of our DTF Film 101 comparison series. Make sure you guys subscribe so you keep up to date with all the upcoming episodes. Like I said, we'll be breaking down the different criteria that we look for in providing the films that we do to our customers and things you should be mindful of when building your business with DTF. My name is Esteban, we are All American Print Supply. We'll see you in the next class.